Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve this complex equation. Firstly, I'm going to let x to the power 4 be equal to w, where w is equal to 1 minus square root of 3i. This is in the form of rectangular. I'm going to first convert to polar form, which is in the form of r cis theta, where r is the modulus, so we have square root of x squared plus y squared. x is 1, so we have 1 square. y is negative square root of 3, since what we need is square, so which means that plus or minus not really important and now we will still have positive and square square root cancel each other so we left only three and this result in two and for the theta is simply the argument which is of tangent y divided by x so we have negative square root of three divided by one when we enter into the calculator we can ignore the negative sign first since what we need here is just the reference angle so we press shift tangent to obtain our tangent and we press square root of three and this is equal to 60 degree now refer back to the question x is positive while y is negative if we refer to the cartesian plane this condition will only be fulfilled if we fall in the fourth quadrant so which means that the reference angle should be here which is 60 degree and now we know that this is 360 degree we need to move back a little bit so we take 360 degree minus 60 and we should obtain 300 degree for theta and now we can conclude that w is equal to 2 6 300 degree since z to the power of 4 is equal to w and w is equal to 2 6 300 degree which means that z is equal to 2 6 300 degree to the power of 1 over 4. By using the De Morvis law, we know that we should have 4 roots. From here, we should have the first root is equal to 2 to the power 1 over 4 6 300 degree should be divided by 4 so we have 300 divided by 4 is equal to 75 degree and this is in the form of polar and we have to convert to rectangular form Making use of calculator we take 2 to the power of 1 over 4 and we should first press cos for the real part with the angle 75 degree and this is equal to 0 0.30 8 rounded to the three decimal places and for the imaginary part simply change cos to sine press equal we obtain positive 1.149 rounded to the nearest three decimal places and for the second root before we move on let's consider if we complete one rotation for a circle we should have 360 degree but then we have four roots here so which means that this must be shared evenly for this four root and end up we should have 90 degree each in other words for every two roots the gap in between must be equal to 90 degree Therefore, the second row should be equal to 2 to the power 1 over 4 6 angle in between 90 degrees. So we take 75 plus 90 and this is equal to 165. By using the same idea, we can obtain the rectangular form. Move back to the previous enter value, change 75 to 165 and we obtain negative 1.149 rounded to the nearest three decimal places change cost to sign and we should obtain is equal to positive 0.308i and for the third root using the same idea we have 2 to the power 1 over 4 since the angle should increase another 90 degrees so 165 plus 90 which is equal to 255 degree and this is equal to move back and we should change the angle now to 255 so 255 this is equal to negative 0.308 and we should have for sine is equal to negative 1.149 i and for the last root by using the same idea we have 2 to power 1 over 4 says 255 increase another 90 degree which is equal to 345 degree 
Again, make use of whatever we have entered previously, change to 552345. And this is equal to positive 1.149. And for the sign part or the imaginary part, we should have equal to negative 0.308i. And hence, we're done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a like this. See you.